So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run Chrome OS Flex live off a USB stick. And by live, what I mean is we don't install it to the computer. We actually run it straight from the USB stick. Now, I've already done a very in-depth tutorial on how to do the very same thing, but installing it to a computer or a laptop. Now, if you want to know about that, there will be a link in the description to this video and one at the end as well, taking you to that video. Also, I I've done another video which shows you how to prepare the USB stick so it becomes a bootable Chrome OS Flex USB stick. Now again, if you want to know how to do that, go and check my other video. However, in this particular video, I want to get straight into showing the whole process of setting the stick up once it's ready to be put into the computer. So what I'm going to do is try and do this in one take so it'll give you a very good idea as to what's going on here. Now as you can see clearly, I'm on windows here so i'm going to close down this little laptop if you just give us a second now the thing is this laptop it is quite old it has only got a celeron processor and i think maybe four gigabytes of ram something like that so it is not a powerful laptop by any stretch now the first thing that we're going to have to do is once we get our USB stick, which is obviously all bootable and stuff with uh, Chrome OS Flex on. Oh, and by the way, I might call it Chrome OS or just Flex. I might fluff up a bit here because it's only one take, but we know what I'm talking about. But the first thing we have to do is after we've put the USB stick into the computer, which I can't find the hole. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Now, after we've done this, we have to hit what is called the boot key. Now, on this particular computer, my boot key is F7. However, that will vary between computers. In the description to this video, I will have a list there of the commonly used boot keys and stuff. And what I'm going to do now is show you what I mean by the boot key. So when I power on, I hold F7 because that's my boot key and it will come up with the boot menu. However, like I say, this does change from computer to computer. And in the description, I will give you a list of the commonly used ones. So. Here we go, I'm powering on the computer. I'm just gonna hit F7 as it boots up. Okay, and what should happen? I should hit the boot menu. There we go, there's the boot menu. Now what I'm going to do is just navigate down to the, uh, to the USB drive, which is this one, which has got the, uh, the Chrome OS Flex on it, then hit enter, okay? Now at this point, it should get fairly quickly to the Chrome, there we go. So there's the Chrome opening screen there. Now what's going to happen, it's going to kind of like start going through this process of giving us some options in a moment. Here we go. So, welcome to Cloud Ready 2. Cloud Ready 2 is basically flex. Okay, so what we're going to do here is go to, go to get started. Now, I will try and do as much of this in real time as possible, but I might just have to skip past certain things if it slows down too much, because I just don't want people to get dead bored or anything, but I do want people to understand and to see how this happens. Now, if you're going to install it to the internal drive, that's the option you would choose. However, we're gonna choose this, try it first. So let's click on that and try it first basically means it's gonna keep it all stored on the USB stick. So let me just do next here. Now at this point, we're gonna have to connect to a network. Now for obvious reasons, I'm gonna blur this. Now give me a second just whilst I put my password in, hold on, okay. Now I might also bang the camera here as well. Again, I'm trying to do this all in one take, so please bear with me if that happens. Okay, so Google Terms of Service and stuff like that. Um, right, I'll just leave that tick there, I don't mind that. And then what we're gonna do is set up here for yourself or a child. Now, if you have got a child who's going to use this or if you're setting up specifically for a child, definitely choose child, okay? Because then you can set filters and stuff. However, this is for an adult and it's me, or at least I try to act like an adult. Now, here we go, I'm gonna click next here, okay? And then it's gonna ask us now for our Chrome or our Google account. We've got the option here to go in and browse as a guest. However, I wanna set this stick up so I do get access to my Google data. So I'm gonna go through that process. So at this point, just like use your email or phone. Let me just get into this a sec, hold on. Okay, so that's just gonna move on to, I think it's gonna ask for password in a second. There we go, password, so I'm gonna put that in. 
Okay, so there's my password gone in. Now this has asked for a two-step verification here, so give us a moment. Okay, so I've just put me verification in, so that's got passed there, okay? And so now it's going on to sync your Chrome device and stuff. I'm just gonna click accept here and move on. Okay, cloud-ready hardware data collection. I don't mind that, I'm gonna tick that and get past it. Now this is actually relatively quick, to be honest, and very straightforward, so. We're kind of like almost there, I think. Right, Google Assistant, blah, blah, I don't really want that. And I don't want Hey Google and all that stuff. Okay, so connect to your phone. No, thank you, not at this point in time. And now get started. And let's see, boom, look at that, straight in there. <laughs> so that's it now. That is the Chrome OS Flex set up on that USB stick, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go deep diving over Chrome and stuff here, or Chrome OS, but I'll just show you. As you can see, it's all there. And to be honest as well, this is really snappy and stuff. Hold on, let me just get onto a browser here. Actually, I've just done a cut there. What it is, I was gonna go to YouTube through the browser, but I've just realized the YouTube app is there anyway. So let me just go to YouTube, okay? Let me just block that notification for now. I'll just select a user there. Again, there will have been kind of blaring going on on the screen here, but it's obvious why. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go to something that I know I've got access to, which is gonna tax this little system, to be honest. Let's see, if I go to, let me just search for the game thing. What it is, this is just a channel that I, I've got for doing some gamey stuff. So let me just come here, because there's there's one particular video that I, I know I can test straight away, which is gonna be 60 frames per second, just to see what this plays like. Okay, so it's this one here. Oh, straight in there, that's good. Now let me just make sure I'm on the 1080p stream here. So that's 480 at the moment. There's 1080. Okay, let me just go full screen here. Okay, in fact, let me just hide this up. Okay, that's definitely working. That's brilliant, actually. Let me just skip further into this. I'm not gonna like stay on this for ages, so don't worry. I just wanna test the way this is running with like really good looking video and stuff. So here we go. Just about okay, that's definitely working. Now, just out of my own curiosity here, <laughs> this is something it won't do. Let me just try 4K60, okay. Now, to be fair on it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump ahead in the timeline. Let me just see if it starts trying to buffer. The other thing is here, I'm not entirely sure how fast the internet connection is that I'm currently on. So what I'm gonna do is give it time to buffer down there as we can see. And then let me just play from there. Wow. Let me just make sure that that's definitely 4K. Okay, right, that's definitely 4K. I'm not gonna stay on this and dwell on it, but I'm actually just being freaked out because this little laptop here, right, cannot play 4K60. Uh, if I go to YouTube under Windows, it can't do it. But this, for the best part, seems to be playing it. Let me just give it another quick little blast. Wow, okay, as I can say there is I'm absolutely stunned. That's ridiculous, right? This this little laptop cannot do that under Windows, but it's doing it under Chrome OS, right? That is fantastic. Right, so I'm not gonna hang around here because there's a ton of stuff I could try here. This was just to show you, you know, the stick working. However, what I will do, let me just show you now what happens when I switch, uh, when I power off, sorry, wrong button. In fact, if I hit the power button here, then it's gonna give me the option just to shut down. So what I'm gonna do now is shut down. I will take the stick out and then we will see that I go, I'm go. i able to boot straight back into Windows. So if you give us a second, so take the stick out, then power back up. Okay, oh, actually hold it for a couple of seconds, David. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, I know this might be a little bit kind of like weird because I'm not jump cutting, but I'm trying to show as much as I can in real time here. 
So all I want to do is let you see, there you go, there's the window splash screen. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fast forward this and then go to a power down again. Okay, so I've just hit the user screen there. Um, that actually, this is mega slow. You can see from the from the, the point that I am now on, on the user screen here. Well, I say user screen, that's me user login, just user on this particular one. But look at this, look how slow this is. Okay, that, that, seriously, that took absolutely forever. Now, give me a second just while I power down again. Okay, so this is now switched off. So what I'm gonna do is put the USB stick back in again. I'm gonna power on. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my boot key again. And then I will go to the boot screen from here. There we go, so there's the boot manager. And then what I'm gonna do is scroll down, go back to the drive that I've got Chrome OS Flex on, hit enter. And this is going to start going in and to be honest this is a lot faster getting into chrome os than what it is getting into windows it's ridiculous okay so let's see there we go look at that there we go straight to my login now give me one second enter and there we go straight to the desktop so as you can see, that is way, way faster as well, getting into Chrome OS Flex than what it was on Windows. And that is basically because this computer here is not a powerful computer. So yeah, this is a really good reason why you would want to use Chrome OS Flex. Anyways, that should do it for this video. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you've really, really liked it and you like this type of stuff, then consider subscribing to my channel and getting on the bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos to this in the future. Anyways, I'm Dave. Harry, thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.